everyone, Michael here, and welcome back to a brand new video. And in today's video, I thought I'd make a video about my brand new movie, Into the Vast Unknown. Now, this is, of course, a stop-motion creation that I did all by myself. Trust me, it took so much time and effort. But yeah, since this was all made in real life and I had to build up every single set, there's... And... Not everyone's perfect. There's bound to be some mistakes. So in today's video, I thought I would go through every scene in the movie and pointing out each mistake that I spotted in the movie and also be pointing out some technical issues and also some false references. But yeah, anyways, no one cares about that. Let's get straight into it. So in the opening scene, we see a traffic driving by, a car going through a car wash, guy walking down the street, and giant laser hitting the top of a building. Now, in the opening scene, here's where I spotted the first mistake. If you go back to the tr where the traffic was driving around and dodging the fire truck, if you look very carefully at the shop of miscellaneous things, you can see that there is a guy who is bursting out of the door, and he's just completely still. Now, here's the reason why. What you see in the movie is actually a completely rewritten script from what was actually in the script at first. Because in the trailer, as we saw, there was, there was a scene where there was the police chasing a bad guy with a bag. But in the actual movie, that's nowhere to be seen. Because the original movie was supposed to have a bad guy breaking into the stop shop of miscellaneous things, stealing a cool diamond, and then running away. But it was cut because I lost the bad guy. And I had to rebuild everything again. But apparently, somehow I missed this guy. So yeah pretty bad mistake oh Harl. hi mr fark in the next scene where harl is talking to mr fark his boss he is in his office and he is resigning because his son is born and he wants to spend the maximum time he can with him but when this shot was being made the walls are non-existent so when i had to turn a camera angle i just broke the walls of the um, of the previous camera angle and just put them there but when you see Harl walking out of the room you can clearly see that I forgot to cover up this little hole and you can clearly see that it ends right there so I mean it's not that hard of a mistake to spot but it is a very bad one In the next scene, Harl is going to the shop of miscellaneous things to buy a super cool new baby bottle for his son. Oh, also, I just realized you can see the end of the table here. So that's another mistake. Anyway, when he enters and you look in the background, you can see the traffic going around. But if you keep your eyes trained on the traffic, you can see that it sometimes pauses and then goes pauses and then goes and then just keeps on happening also i also looks like the stand for the super cool diamond that the bad guy stole i forgot to take that out after i made the final cut so yeah a total of three mistakes in just one scene wow that's a lot of mistakes in the next scene when harl is walking with his wife and son we see the laser hitting the building from another perspective, but if you look in the windows, the debris from the broken roof is already in there. So really, it happened without actually happening, which is very confusing. Also, in the next scene, when Mr. Fark is watching the news about the building being destroyed, you can see that the editing that i took to make the stuff on the computer laptop screen work and looks like i didn't pin it too well and a bit 
sticking out of the given radius of the laptop. So yeah, definitely two bad mistakes. When Harl tumbles through the door, you can see that behind him, there's actually no hallway or room there. It's just a random void of nothingness, which leads straight down to the road and city. That's definitely a bad mistake, but I just didn't bother with making um, background for that scene, because it would just take a lot of modeling and time, so... Laziness can sometimes lead to bad mistakes. Make discuss. You see, you've probably... When this super cool scene of Mr. Fart talking through the window, we can see that the camera is slightly tilted. Now, this isn't really a mistake, but it is a, but it is a ding for bad camera angling. Carl, you are the man for the job. Sir, I don't... Here's another example of me not putting enough bricks to cover the wall. Right here, if you look in the corner, there's literally no wall. And it just stays there for the whole scene of Harl talking to his wife. That's a really bad mistake right there. It's perfectly fine. Completely safe? Yes. And... Um... If you look in the corner, you can see the edge of the table. Of course I can, Harl. If you very, very, very carefully squint your eyes and look in the corner, you can see that there's just no wall beyond that point. And this is because of another reason to conserve bricks, just like I did with Mr. Fark's office. So I just built up that one wall... And that's it, and I did my best to cover it up, but looks like this didn't really work out too well. Now, this is one of the harder mistakes to spot, so you really, really have to be very observant to see it. Alright, that's enough. You said your goodbyes. Harl, this is Bishop... If you look just behind Harl, you can see there's a stuffed dolphin, a sofa, a giant Lego brick, and a bunch of other stuff. Now, this isn't really a mistake. I mean, ki it k is kind of, but not really too bad since you can plainly see it. But yeah, I just thought it would point it out, and I probably should have added like a sky or something in here. There's no turning back now. <sighs> If you look just below X Floor 1, you can see that there is a stand that is making it fly. Now, when I was editing this, I tried my best to kind of mask it out, but somehow this part slipped through the process, and also a couple other parts that I will not mention since this statement covers all of the mistakes of this that happen in this movie. But, yeah, this is just so bad. I wish I could have done so better, but what can you do now? Oh, oh. Oh, Harl. Now, in this scene, there really aren't many mistakes, but there are a couple of Easter eggs, so I will point them out. If you look just in front and behind of Mr. Fark, you can see that there is the creepy hanging guy from the tree with a pike, from my Halloween decoration scene in my Lego city. So somehow he got blasted all the way from the park, all the way to Main Street by a laser. Holy moly. Where are you? The world needs you. Ah! Now, I couldn't find too many mistakes after this, so I'm just going to cut to the part where I could find more mistakes. If you pause it just at the right time, you can see that this guy has no hands. Like, where did they go? I didn't even notice this guy. How do you even get in there? This is a pretty bad mistake, but it is a hard one to, um, to find. So, yeah, that's why I'm really pointing it out. After Martha runs out of the crowd of people rushing around... 
we just stop hearing the crown of people. Like, if this was in real life, you would still be able to hear them. Like, I don't think she ran that far away to see him. Like, really took her super fast to get there. So you should technically still be able to hear all the people shouting and screaming and running around. But you can't. So that's a bad mistake. I guess it's going to be a pretty weird life for this little guy living in another dimension. Oh, definitely. Well done, Harl. You done good. Oh, thanks, Mr. If you listen closely to the audio, you can hear Mr. Fark slapping Carl on the shoulder as a sign of peace and, like, patting him on the back. But, if you actually carefully look at the frames, Mr. Fark never actually touches Harl. So, here's what happened. So, I already got the voice recordings of the actors. And just at the last second, I changed up the pictures for him not to pat uh, Harl on the back. But, I forgot to ask... For everyone to change the audio in order to fit the new script. So, yeah, that's why that happened. Okay. Yes! No, let's go and show us a UT. But hey. And this marks the end of the movie. So thank you so, so much for watching that video. It was really fun to make and pointing and pointing out all the mistakes that I could possibly find. I hope you did enjoy it, and I will see you all next time.